everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Python's World 2. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. We're back for the 13th episode. Some would say it's unlucky for some, right? Number 13, typically associated with being unlucky. Well, I'll tell you something. We're going to go against that today because today, my friends, we've got TNT. Oh, oh, some of you guys might know what we're going to be doing today. Oh, snappers. If we can get ourselves a bunch of netherite today, I'm going to be very, very happy. Now, in order to get yourself a full set of netherite armor, in addition to a full set of netherite tools, so that's all five of these things down here, we need a grand total of 36 ancient debris. And the question is, can we get 36 ancient debris with the TNT that we're going to be going in there with? Huh? That's the question. But anyways, guys, before we do anything, I just want to say, as always, a massive thank you for all of the amazing support you guys have been showing. I really do appreciate it. Reaching, once again, over 3,000 likes. I very much appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much for that. If we could keep it up with that kind of support, that would be absolutely beautiful. So yeah, guys, all of the gunpowder that we got from our exploration session we did a couple episodes ago are all going to go into the TNT. And as you can see, we now have just about two stacks of TNT. Which is a very, very nice, I have to say. Very nice indeed. I'm looking forward to this, guys. I'm a creeper. I like blowing stuff up, guys. I'm going to be blowing up the nether in the name of uh, upgrades. It's going to be great. So I guess the question is, whereabouts do we want to set up our netherite mine? Hmm, that's the real question. I was thinking as sort of a first idea, maybe we could go to zero, zero. That's where I typically set up my netherite mines. And the only reason I do that is because it's just easy to remember. Simple as that. So what we would need to do is expand our tunnel system here and then try to find zero zero, which I believe is going to be sort of in this direction a little bit. So, I mean, it's not going to be too difficult, right? We just need to like do a little bit of diggy dig and then we're good. Hey there, jungle sheep. Don't think I can't see you. I got a spyglass. I can spy on you. <laughs> oh, he's gone. So just for the heck of it, what I'm going to do over at zero zero in the nether is I'm actually going to set up another portal and see where it leads. I mean, obviously, it's going to lead me to zero zero in the overworld. But it doesn't mean I don't want to see what there is there, right? So let's light this sucker up and let's see where this leads. All right, where are we? Uh, of course, we're in a bleeding cave system. It's always a bloody cave, man. Oh, goodness. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess we could always find some glow lichen down here. You know, that could be a cool idea. Um, okay. Uh, oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, glow lichen and copper. Nice. I guess the time has come. We're going to make ourselves a netherite mine. So I guess what we're going to do very, very simply is go down to Y12. I do Y12 and not Y15 because Y12, in my opinion, is safer because the, you have less of a risk of accidentally breaking out into the lava ocean uh, if you do Y12 instead. So, yeah. All right. So what we need to do is just make ourselves a nice, simple staircase Going all the way down. Well, here we are, Y12. And I guess what we need to try and figure out first of all is just how wide uh, these different corridors are going to be, right? So I'm thinking maybe we go in here. Okay. And then I'll go like maybe 10 blocks along and then I'll place my first bit of TNT, right? So here we are. There we are. Okay. And then we can place down the TNT real quick and then we can give this a little bit of a give this a little bit of a blast see what happens eh maybe we get ourselves some ancient debris on our first freaking go how amazing would that be yeah <laughs> there it is oh it's beautiful isn't it it's it's truly a beautiful sight isn't it okay so there's at least two there and yeah this is going to be a great source of XP from quartz and gold great source of soul sand and also some blackstone and just all sorts of other great stuff, my friends. Yeah! All right! There we go, ladies and gents. Hidden in the depths. Okay, so two out of 36. We are 1 18th of the way there. Woo, baby! I mean, you got to start somewhere, right? All right, so yeah, that was 10 blocks along. So let's do the same over this side. I mean, why not? Maybe we get lucky. We get ourselves even more ancient debris. How fantastic would that be? I think... Oh! I think it'd be very fantastic. Right, be quick about it. Uh... Ha! 
Yeah, can't take me out like that, Sonny. I am way too quick for you there, broski. All right, there we are. And then we back off and we see what the damage is. Hello, hello, hello. What have we got around here? Absolutely nothing. Not even any quartz. Jeez. All right. So, yeah, we just need to try and figure out how far apart the corridors need to be. So, if we just do, like, a little bit of a count here. So, this is the corridor. Uh, so, we've got one block, two block, three block, four block, five blocks along. Okay, so five blocks. So, if I wanted to go, let's say, ten blocks along, then I feel like we should be in for a good chance of, like, not accidentally bumping into just the other TNT blasts. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, if we go ten blocks in this direction now, do ourselves another TNT blast. What we should find is, like, we're only just sort of edging into the other corridor. Uh, so, let's give that a go. Let's give that a go. If I'm right, then I'm going to be very, very happy. And then, yeah, we've basically got our TNT corridor set up. Okay. Uh, oh. That lava, like, quickly dissipated. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. All right. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. That seems to have done it. All right, let's do the same on the other side. Uh, the gravel didn't really help. But, hey-ho, whatever, I guess, right? So, we do this, we do this. And we do ourselves another blast. And then... Da -da -da -da! Yeah. Oh, okay. So there we are. Yeah, we're like literally only just bumping into the other TNT corridor. Nice. Yeah. All right. So I'm pretty happy that we've got this sorted out. So yeah, if you want to know how to do like a bit of a netherite mine kind of dealio, yeah. You got yourself your little corridors that go off and then you go 10 blocks back. And then you do yourself another blast corridor, go 10 blocks back, do another blast corridor. So, with diamonds, you typically go, what, 4 blocks back? But these ones, I'm going 10 blocks back. Because, yeah, we're able to mine quite a lot at the same time just by using the TNT. That's a, that's not a scary sight at all. How about you get out of this, sir? And big boom! Yeah! All right. Any more debris? No? Ah, oh, dang it. I've not had any debris in a few blasts now. Ah, uh, let me guess. It was beginner's luck, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, I swear to God. I always get beginner's luck with things, I swear. Like, the, the first few minutes of anything I do just seems to go amazingly well. And then after that, it just it's just diminishing returns, I swear. I swear. That always happens, man. All right, come on. One more blast. Come on, come on, come on. And... Uh, uh, no... No. Hey! Hey! It's a beautiful sight, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> All right, just got to make sure we don't get messed up by the lava. In fact, I could probably get rid of that source right there. And then somehow get rid of that source in there as well, if I can. Uh, oh, 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 okay. So there's like an actual lava pool behind there. Uh-huh. Something to bear in mind, I guess. But uh, hey ho, here we are. We do have ourselves at least one bit of ancient debris. How about a second piece? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. There is a second piece. Beautiful. Aha. Uh -huh. Very cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. All right. Well, that is now one netherite ingot, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Okay. Make that slightly more than a netherite ingot. Yeah. All right. I feel like we're starting to get somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. But then again, this could be the beginner's luck. We could be in for a dry period after this. Who knows? <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I wonder whether they made ancient debris rarer. Because honestly, when I was playing the 1.16 Nether Update snapshots, I honestly thought I was getting more ancient debris than I'm getting now. I'm still only at five ancient debris so far, guys. I mean, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. It is the strongest resource there is in the game. But I don't remember reading anywhere that that is the case. That ancient debris was made rarer for the main, main release. I don't know. M maybe, maybe I'm just being incredibly unlucky. It is very possible. It is possible that I'm just being unlucky. But I don't know, man. I don't know, maybe there's some credibility to that uh, opinion or statement. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Also, I've completely run out of food. So, that's 
a pretty dire situation to be in, it's got to be said. So we should probably do something about that in today's episode, huh? See, that's one of the reasons I'm real glad that I went ahead and bought back a whole bunch of bones. Because it means I can get myself food a hell of a lot easier. And I gotta tell you, that feels pretty good. <laughs> I accidentally thought ahead for once, guys. Oh, God. I've gotta be careful. Python's thinking ahead. He's in the danger zone here. What else is he gonna do? If we can take over the world? Ah! Oh, God. Ah. I'll tell you what he's gonna do, though. He's gonna find himself some more ancient debris. Ah, it's a beautiful sight, that is. Do -do 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 -do. Run out of sprint, and I'm having to walk home like a scrub. Oh, goodness me. All right, well, I need to get myself a potato and just force grow it a bunch of times, because, uh, oh, boy, this is, this is very slow. It's very slow, buddy. It's very slow, Petey. All right, well, yep, you can sleep on my bed with me. That's not weird or anything. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Look at the amount of stuff we have now. Oh, my God. I can't even put most of the stuff away. Oh, jeez. It would be really, really cool to make ourselves like a, an auto smelter, get ourselves a bunch of nether brick items, and then be good to go, right? So, for now, uh, actually, I feel like I should put it next to the portal instead. That might make a little bit more sense. Hmm. All right, well, for now, let's go get ourselves some food, shall we? I did, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got some potatoes in the zombie spawner chests. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me some potatoes. I love me some potatoes. Don't wait. Potato. The first potato, my friends. Oh, it's a beautiful sight, isn't it? All right, uh, is this, is this like a, is that like an easy way of doing this? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Potato in the off hand, bone meal in the may hand, and off you go. Oh, fantastic. You know what would be kind of cool is if they added the right click to harvest functionality that's uh, typically in most mod packs, right? So all it would do is you would right click on the crop, it would regress the crop back to its first growth stage, but then you'd still get some harvest, right? I think that'd be so cool, you know? Is it just me? Is it just me who thinks that'd be cool? I think it'll be real cool, actually. Yeah. Moyang, if you're listening, do it! It'll be a freaking awesome feature to have. Alright, so with some potatoes in the repertoire now, it's time to get back to the blast mining. Oh, yeah, so we've got seven back at base already. Ancient debris, that is. So, I mean, honestly, 36 is the goal, but I I'm 100% convinced that we're not going to get there. So, we're just going to keep blasting until we run out. Oh, okay, okay. You're trying to hide yourself from me there, sir? Let's, uh, let's not have that happen, huh? Uh, is there more than one? Ah, oh, darn it. Nope, just the one. All right, well, once again, better than zero. You gotta look at the silver linings in life, I guess. <laughs> Sweet! How you doing there, broski? How about a second bit? No? Ah, oh, darn it. See, that's the thing about ancient debris. Sometimes they're the little ancient debris blocks, they can spawn diagonally from each other, right? Uh, so it's always worth going ahead. Kind of similar to diamonds in that respect, actually. It's always worth going ahead and just sort of digging around. You never know. You might just find another one, right? It's always worth doing it, my friends. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's... It's going to be quite the task to go ahead and pick up all of the ores around here. I mean, look at this. We've got nether gold. We've got quartz all over the place. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's truly, truly beautiful. Uh, and we've got blackstone. Dude, I love blackstone. It's probably one of my favorite new blocks to build with. I do kind of still feel a little bit bad that I didn't get blackstone mana done on Python Plays Minecraft. I wouldn't mind trying to, I don't know, scale that down a bit and try to do something similar on this world, perhaps. I, whoa, I thought that would be kind of a fun idea. Basically, just make a smaller version of Blackstone Manor, something a little bit more manageable to create, something that I might actually be able to get done and not get burnt out with, huh? What do you guys think, huh? What do you guys think? Sounds like a pretty cool idea, right? Oh, nice, okay. Well, that's, that's two blasts in a row, which have come out very, very nicely, in fact. All right, uh, is there possibly a second one? Nope, I think that is just a one vein. Uh-huh. Ha-ha! <laughs> you appear to be on fire slightly, sir. Get out of here. Ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Come on! More than one, huh? More than one! Is it? It's, it's just one again. Ah, darn it. <laughs> 
One of these days, guys. One of these days, huh? I'm pretty sure the maximum amount of ancient debris you can find in a single vein is three. Boom! Whoa! Okay, I think what I'm going to do is move on to the next lane. <laughs> Alrighty guys, our TNT supply is definitely starting to look a little bit low. The good news is we have just found ourselves another piece of ancient debris. And once again, just dig around, make sure there's no more. And there isn't. Okay, cool. Right, so let's continue on. We've got six more blasts. Now, I guess this kind of brings us on to the question, well, what are we going to do about future supply of explosives? Because mm -hmm. let's be honest, explosives are the best way of getting ancient debris in Minecraft. Like, there's no there's no question about it. They just are. But there's always been an argument for using beds instead of TNT. Now, in my opinion... Oh, God. Now, oh, boy. Now, in my opinion, beds are very, very good. But they're also very unsafe, in my opinion. Uh, more often than not, you will wind up taking some explosive damage yourself. But there are, like, certain ways to sort of circumvent that, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I think maybe there's a case to be made that we should make ourselves an automatic sheep shearing farm and get ourselves a supply of wool, and then that will allow us to make ourselves a bunch of beds and then do some explodifying. Two bits of ancient debris. Epic! Come on, big money, big money. The final explosion, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there's a skelly butthead. Uh, hold on. Eh. Got a dispatch of the trash first. There we are. Hey, 30 levels as well. Beautiful. All right. And yay, we did get one. Nice. Not even halfway there, guys. <laughs> we need 36. Halfway point is 18, of course. And we've got 17. That is still enough, however, to get ourselves four netherite ingots. And I gotta tell you, that's not too bad. We can at least upgrade a full set of armor. And do you know what? I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna upgrade diamond armor all the way up to freaking netherite. We're going from iron up to netherite, guys. I mean, that's a hell of a skip, isn't it? <laughs> All right, guys, while the ancient debris is smelting, we are heading into the enchanting hot hut. Yeah, the hot hut. I love the hot hut. I'm sorry. I keep saying it in a stupid way every time, but I, I can't help it, man. Oh, jeez. All right, what do we got? I'm breaking three guaranteed. I'm breaking three is always a bit of a risk because you never know if you're going to get it by itself or you're going to get yourself a bunch of epicness with it. We're just going to get straight into it. And blast protection four is actually very, very nice. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, because it means we can protect ourselves from creeper explosiones. Yeah. All right. Looking pretty good, I would say. Looking pretty dang good. Power four. And what have we got in here? I'm breaking three. Eh. I'm not really too fussed about either of those. Uh, but yeah, we've got some decent stuff going on. We've got, uh, yep, this is the only thing that needs unbreaking and some form of protection. And then obviously you've got all the specialized enchants like Thorns, Feather Falling, Depth Strider, Aqua Affinity, all that kind of uh, good stuff. You know, all that stuff we need to try and get. So yeah, there's honestly, guys, honestly, this series, there's so many things I want to get done. I want to make like a big old library trading hall kind of deal. I want to get every single top tier enchantment you can get as a trade, okay? It's just what I want to do. It'll be super freaking fun. Oh, protection four. Hey, all right. We had unbreaking three as well, right? Yep, there it is. All right, all right, all right. I see how it is. I see how it is. Got some good stuff going on here, actually. Uh, so I could put put the protection and the unbreaking on there, and then we have a full set of protection or some form of protection and unbreaking armor. That feels good. All right, three levels to put unbreaking on. And five levels to put protection four on. Guys, this is a pretty damn good set of armor. So let's grab it out. Let's go check on the ancient scrap. And we are upgrading this stuff up to netherite. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Alrighty, it turns out we've got absolutely zero iron. So for the first time, we're actually going to use our resource caves here. Hello, hello. I would like one iron block, please. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like actually having to go to places to get stuff rather than just having it all in one central location. It's fun. It's fun. You know, it gives you something to do. It gives you a chance to look at some of your older builds. You know what I'm saying? It's just nice. I like it. I like it. Maybe it's because I'm a nostalgic person. I, I don't know, man. I just like it. Like, what else is there to say? If you like something, that's all that really matters, I guess. Uh, right, anyway, so let's go ahead and put this thing down. 
Uh, you know what? It's actually kind of tempting to put it here. Eh, why not? All right, and then we need to make ourselves the netherite ingots. There we go. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Full netherite armor! Oh! You love to see it, guys! You love to see it! <laughs> ah, feels good, man. Feels good. Right, I'm going to smelt all this old armor. I'm going to get some nugs back. Because why not? And there we have it, my friends. An almighty upgrade and almighty jump going from iron skipping diamond and going straight up to netherite armor, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic. So, in terms of ancient debris, we need, I do believe, 19 more to be able to get ourselves the five netherite ingots required to upgrade all of our tools up to netherite as well. So I'm very, very excited uh, to hopefully get myself a source of explosives very, very shortly here. And yeah, get right back to it. Get some more explodifying done now that we have blast protection. That's going to help us quite quite massively, actually, in terms of staying alive. Uh, so yeah, for now though, my friends, it's just been a netherite heavy episode. And I'll tell you what, we're going to end off the episode. Nice, chill, netherite, explodey mining episode. I do love doing them every now and again. But here we are. We have Acacia Lou who says, After you start the new building series, will you still continue every day posting? The answer, of course, is yes. But I will be as much as I can do, I guess. Every now and again, I may miss a day of uploading. I might need a day or so to just brainstorm ideas or brainstorm whatever it is that needs to be done in whatever series, wherever it may be. So at the very least, guys, I will try to maintain very regular uploads, if not daily. But if things so happen to come out daily, then amazing. I'm sure you guys will be happy with that. But yeah, like I say, don't be, don't be worried if you see like a day or so missed in terms of videos like it's all good my friends most of the time it's just because i need a little bit of uh, a little bit of time just to come up with ideas and all that kind of stuff uh so yeah everything is good <laughs> and yeah talking of the new build series guys oh it's real close isn't it for those of you guys who didn't see the trailer i put out uh, nearly a week ago now there's gonna be a link on screen for you guys you're gonna want to watch it because the new series is going to be epic and i'm very much looking forward to it 31st of january 2021 is when it starts that's literally a couple days from the time of this video going out guys i'm so excited it's gonna be brilliant i'm gonna try to enhance my building skills even more and i, I, I don't know what to tell you i've said i'm excited loads of times but honestly i mean it every time i say it i am super Super excited for it. So yeah, look out for that. And for now though, my friends, I want to bid you guys farewell. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.